Welcome to this training video on using the Team Availability application. There are three main steps to completing your Team Availability. The first step is to enter your Season Setup. When you first log in and enter the Team Availability area of the website, you will see the Season Setup button. Click this button to begin. Keep in mind that you can come back at any time before the final deadline to make changes to your Season Setup. So if you are not 100% sure about any of the settings here, it is okay to make a selection so that you can move on and then come back later if needed. In the Start Play field, enter the first day in the season your team is available to begin playing games. In the End Play field, enter the last day in the season your team is available to play. In the Desired Number of Games field, enter the total number of games that you would like to play throughout the season. In the Max Consecutive Days field, enter the maximum number of days in a row that you could acceptably have games scheduled. For example, if playing games four days in a row would be too much, but playing three days in a row would be okay if necessary, then enter three. Keep in mind that in later steps, you will have the opportunity to apply some other restrictions to limit back-to-back -back games, so the number here should be at your high end of what is acceptable. In the Strength of Schedule area, for relative team strength, enter the skill level you feel best represents your team. For Strength of Schedule preference, you can specify how challenging you would like your matchups to be throughout the season. Next, you can place limits on how many games you can have scheduled with teams of certain age and or skill levels. Click Save when finished. We are now done with Season Setup and can move on to Step 2, which is to enter your default availability for the season by creating your first pattern. A pattern defines your availability for a 7-day period running from Friday to Thursday. You must assign a pattern to each 7-day period throughout your season. To begin, click the Create New Pattern button, which opens the Pattern window. Enter a name for the pattern. It would make sense to name your first pattern Default. The first thing you need to decide when setting up a pattern is how many games you want to play from Friday to Monday and how many games you want to play Tuesday to Thursday. Next, you can enter preferences and constraints for each day. You see different tabs here allowing you to work with the Friday to Monday period separately from the Tuesday to Thursday period. Each of these two tabs contains the same set of options, just applying to the different days of the week. Looking at the Friday to Monday tab, first you can specify the maximum consecutive days in a row that you are willing to play a game from Friday to Monday. Moving to the Preference to Play tab, you can indicate your preference to play on each day. P1 means it's a good day to play, P2 means you can play but it's not as ideal, P3 means you would play this day only if it's necessary, and then you can classify a day as No if you simply are not available to play at all. To get the best schedule, you want to make yourself as available as possible using P1 or P2. Remember, the settings above for your desired number of games and max days in a row will not be exceeded. So in our example, if we marked all four days as P1, we still would not be scheduled to play any more than two days from Friday to Monday. However, we will make other selections here, then move on to the Time Available tab. Here we will enter the earliest and latest possible start times for each day. You can see that Monday is grayed out because we classified this day as Cannot Play on the previous tab. Now we will move on to the Double Header tab. At the top of this tab, you can specify the number of double headers that you would like to play Friday to Monday, and the maximum consecutive days in a row where it would be acceptable to have double headers scheduled. Again, we rate each day based on our preference to play a double header that day. The same principle applies here where you should make yourself as available as possible in order to get the best possible schedule, keeping in mind that your limits entered above will not be exceeded. 
Monday is gray because under the first tab we indicated we cannot play at all on Monday. Now we can enter our preferences for Tuesday to Thursday. The tab is not available unless we indicate we want to play at least one game Tuesday to Thursday. The exact same options are available here as we just showed for the Friday to Monday tab. Finally, you can enter some either or constraints. This tab allows you to place some further restrictions on games scheduled on back to back days. If, for example, we check Friday Saturday, it means we can play either Friday or Saturday, but cannot have games on both Friday and Saturday. We are now finished with this pattern and will click Save. Our first pattern is automatically applied to all seven day periods throughout the season. You can verify your availability selections by looking at the calendar. You can see the days on the calendar contain availability information you specified in the pattern and they are color coded representing your selections. You can hover your mouse over a particular day to see the settings for that day. You can also hover on the area above a day to see the settings applied to that Friday to Monday or Tuesday to Thursday period. There are two additional settings to be aware of directly on the calendar. On each day there is a car icon and a house icon. The car icon signifies that you can travel a long distance for an away game. If the car has an X over it, it means you cannot travel long distance for an away game that day. Click the icon to change whether you are or are not available for long distance travel that day. The house icon signifies that you are available only to play a home game on that day. By default, the house has an X over it, meaning you can play home or away. On any days where you can only play a home game, click the house with an X so that the X is removed. Keep in mind that you are limited on the total number of days you can set for home game only. Now it's time for step 3, which is to create patterns to account for any exceptions to your default availability, such as for weeks that managers are away on vacation, or when there are other schedule conflicts. If you do not have any exceptions to your default availability, then you are done and you do not need to do anything else. But let's say there is a week where you are away on vacation and must block out Saturday and Sunday. To account for this time you are unavailable, you must create and apply a new pattern. You could create a new pattern from scratch by clicking the Create New Pattern button. However, a Clone button is available, which allows you to create a new pattern based on an existing one. We will clone our default pattern and just set Saturday and Sunday to Cannot Play. Now we will apply this pattern to the appropriate place on the calendar to block out our vacation days. You can create as many different patterns as is necessary. You can also edit patterns. So let's say you need to make a change to your default pattern. You would simply click the pencil icon, make your changes, and click Save. Those changes will automatically be applied for every 7 day period with this pattern assigned. If you realize you've made several mistakes, a Start Over button is available, which will delete all of your team availability information, allowing you to start over from scratch. Thank you for viewing this video. We hope you have a great season.